take away from exposed messaging and video and practice and all that good stuff today or anybody else who offered messaging to you guys today? We had a chance. Um, and that, that we, we still believe, you know, like I said, they're, they're writing off, they're writing us off. Um, you know, everybody's doubting us. So, but <clears throat> as long as the people in the locker room and on our coaching staff have belief, then that's all that matters. Morgan in the middle. Coming back from injury, a lot of times people are a little more hesitant or not able to play as freely as they want to. How good did you feel the other night, and why were you able to play so freely? Are you just all the way back, or where are we? Uh, I was hesitant. You know, I don't want to get bumped in the shoulder, but uh, I was definitely hesitant. And then uh, Jay came up to me and was like, yo, like, uh, after I got the first layup, he was like, hey, take your mind off of it. It's over. You out there now. So... Just locking into that, you, you forget about it. So uh, I forgot about it. I was just out there just trying to just trying to make plays. Next question is from Andres Lopez. Thank you. Bam, you just mentioned how your uh, confidence is still there. And even though people may be writing you guys off, you guys still believe in yourselves. Can you talk about a little uh, that mentality going into the next game that is so, so important for you guys? And where are you guys at psychologically right now? Uh, I bounce up against the wall. You know, we know that. And it's three up, three down. You know, that's our, that's our motto. We got to stick to that. We got to believe in that. And uh, like I said, it's not like it hasn't been done before. And uh, it'd be great to be another team to do that. Next question, Cooper Moorhead. Hey, Bam, with uh, AD on Jimmy, and he's dropping back so far in the paint, especially on pick and rolls. Um, what do the other four guys on the floor need to do to help counter that coverage? Uh, we just got to get more movement. I feel like a lot of times we, we get stagnant and caught up into the clock with seven seconds, and we get uh, we get ourselves in, in butter situations is what we call it. But uh, as long as we get shots on goal and, you know, that quality shots, I feel like we'll be okay. Any questions here in the room? Okay, go ahead, Rob. Next question will be from Julio Montenegro. Hi, Bam. What is the key to fight against pressure in game five? Uh, kind of fighting against pressure? Yes. Uh, like I said, our backs against the wall. You can't worry about pressure then. You know, you, you, you got to do everything you can. We got to play desperate as we possibly can. We got to go out there, execute, be t detailed, and play like, I, like we're down 3-1. Next question is from La Gazzetta, Italy. Hey, Bam Davide here from Italy. Uh, what, what can you tell us about the last two days for you guys? Uh, you know, knowing you're down 3-1, uh, coming off a loss, um, how's the atmosphere? Uh, like, it's still some belief. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, like I said earlier, people are writing us off. So as long as the people in our in our organization still have belief and we have belief, then anything is possible. Next question, Isaac Fannin. Hey, Bam, it's Isaac here from the BBC. Um, people in Nigeria are obviously enjoying watching you play um, in these playoffs. Um, how does it feel knowing that you're potentially inspiring um, the next generation of Nigerian players? And, and could you see yourself representing them on the international stage in the future? Uh, it, it feels good that, you know, people enjoy to watch me play and uh, just having the, the next generation look up to me and be something special for them, that feels great. But uh, right now I can't really worry about the decision of uh, putting on a Nigerian jersey. Uh, you know, I got to focus on the, the finals. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Next question is from Alan Sliwa. Hey, Bam, just want to get your thoughts. Is it, uh, of course, you don't want to be down 3 1, but when you are in this position, do you think uh, it maybe makes the team a little bit looser? Do you look at this upcoming game? Um, th does it change anything from when you were down 2 1? Do you think you guys played a little looser because, of, uh, because you're down 3 1? Play a little looser? 
Yeah, looser in the sense that, um, of course, the pressure is on. You got to win every game, but when your back's up against the wall, does it does it loosen things up a little bit for you guys? Uh, I mean, it depends on how you look at looser. Uh, do you you saying like looser as in like we play more free flowing? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, no. <laughs> I feel like if we're down through one, we gotta be damn near perfect. If I'm being honest, you know, that's 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 the way it has to go. We gotta be damn near perfect to go three up, three down. So I don't think it's no playing looser. You know, I feel like that's that that's gotta that's gotta boost your energy up because you know, we have a chance. So at this point we gotta play desperate. Maliko, last question. does playing desperate become different or easier in any sense, knowing that this game, if we were in a different universe, would have been played in LA, but now it's played on a kind of neutral site or are they all the other noises and effects make it so it's just about the same? I mean, once you really get out there, you really forget about it. You know, even if we're in a bubble or we had the crowd, you know, the home team gonna realize it, but, uh, you just got to go out there and hoop at the end of the day. You know, court's still the same. Ball still go through the net the same. So, at the end of the day, we down 3-1 and we got to play desperate. And it's it's no really, you know, once you're in between them lines, you can't, you can't really worry about the outside noise, if that makes sense. Thank you, young fella. That's it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Black Lives Matter, people. That concludes today's session. We will uh, send out further information tomorrow on the uh, Heat SMR feed on Twitter. Thank you.